two little girls got their wish to meet the prince and princess after waiting in their best party dresses for two hours in a small town in Morocco's Atlas Mountains today. The Duchess of Sussex, 37, was seen running over to meet little Rania, 5, and Rayhanna, 2, as she took a tour of the town of Annie with Prince Harry, 34, during their official visit to the country this weekend. The little girls, who were dressed in matching red dresses, were taken by their mother, Claire Mindham to see Harry and Meghan as they visited a small town in the hopes of catching a glimpse of the royals. The couple walked into a boarding house run by the charity Education for All without seeing the youngsters, who were waving a British and Moroccan flags. But they spotted them as they left and Meghan immediately made a beeline for the sisters and bent down to say hello. Meghan was seen running over to the little girls, before kneeling down and saying, Hi girls, so cute. How are you? What are your names? Their mother then explained that they were half Moroccan and half British, as Meghan exclaimed, Ronnie nice to meet you. So sweet. The Duchess also showed them a henna drawing on her hand and said, Nice, isn't it? So pretty. As the girls nodded, Harry was seen laughing before saying, The nod of approval. The girl's mother is a doctor who moved to Morocco from Bangor, Northern Ireland, 12 years ago and settled down in Marrakesh, where she also runs a health education charity. As the couple said their goodbyes, her father, Russell McCoy, who is visiting shouted out to a laughing Harry, no grand slam then? In relation to the England rugby result. No one did, he shouted back as the couple proceeded with their tour. Meghan looked elegant in an understated ensemble for her second day in Morocco, after opting for a stunning custom Valentino gown for her arrival last night. Dressing down for her tour through the town, Meghan opted for a £395 and 34 pence Alice and Olivia tailored long navy blazer, skinny jeans teamed with £90 birdies slippers and a £67 blanked scarf from Wilfred. During the visit the Duchess took part in a henna ceremony an ancient custom that is thought to have its roots in North Africa, and had a design painted on her hand to celebrate her pregnancy. The traditional henna flower was applied by 17-year-old Samira, who has lived at Afa for six years. Meghan is currently on day two of her official three-day tour of Morocco with Prince Harry. It is thought that Meghan is around 30 weeks pregnant, with most airlines allowing women to fly until the 37-week mark. The couple arrived to Casablanca Airport yesterday, where they were welcomed by the British ambassador to Morocco and his wife before they inspected a guard of honor. The Duke and Duchess were two hours late for their welcoming ceremony following the knock-on effects of an earlier delay to their scheduled plane which flew from the UK. In darkness Harry inspected a sabre-carrying guard of honor from the auxiliary forces, dressed in their pristine white uniforms and formed in two rows. The heavily pregnant Duchess walked behind her husband as he looked over the troops who had been patiently waiting for over an hour. But despite spending a busy few days in New York for her luxury baby shower, which featured a string of A-list celebrities, Meghan looked relaxed and wore a striking red Valentino dress. They are spending day two of their tour visiting various schools in the small town of Annie, before attending a reception hosted by British Ambassador, Thomas Riley. Monday. The third and final day of their tour, will be spent meeting children with special needs, before visiting a cooking demonstration, a traditional Moroccan arts and crafts display and attending a horse grooming session at an equestrian facility. A Kensington Palace spokeswoman said, Their Royal Highnesses are very much looking forward to the visit and are grateful to their hosts and the British Embassy for arranging such an interesting program. They are particularly pleased that they will have the opportunity to meet so many young Moroccans over the next few days. The couple began their visit to the capital Rabat by walking along a red carpet that led to Casablanca Airport's Royal Suite. As they entered the building they were offered milk and dates a traditional welcome in Morocco. Pregnant Meghan appeared to pass but Harry could be seen nibbling on a date. A large motorcade of black limousines was waiting to take Meghan and Harry and their entourage of nine, which includes a hairdresser, to meet Morocco's Crown Prince Moulay Hassan. They are staying as guests of Morocco's King Mohammed VI at a royal residence.